Hello and welcome Pisces to your monthly tarot and astrology reading for January 2023. My name is Jeff. I'm an astrologer and intuitive reader here with you at Raise Your Vibration TV. This is a general reading for your sun, moon, or rising sign. It may resonate with you or not. No problem. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'd like to thank you all for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button and support us here at Raise Your Vibration. TV. All right, Pisces, Happy New Year. Let's begin your 2023 January forecast. Let's go. We're pulling up your astrology right now. Okay. We have Venus moving into Aquarius um, at the beginning of the week. And towards the end of this week, you're going to be watching this probably on the 5th. The full moon is going to be taking place on the 6th. And this has to do with your fifth house and the sign of cancer. So what this is going to show is cancer is always an emotional sign. It brings up emotions, maybe some that are deep and dark. The full moon illuminates that. And your fifth house has to do with romance, children, entertainment, uh, having fun, relationships, giving love. So this may be a time where you're like, am I receiving the love that I deserve? Am I giving myself the love that I deserve? There's going to be a lot of focus on satisfying yourself in that way. Fifth house also has to do with hobbies and that kind of thing. So you might be getting a creative streak. Maybe you got a an inspirational idea, you know, right at the beginning of the week. You should probably go with it, you know. Um, we're going to pull some cards now and see what you got in store. Let's see. Pisces, can I have some cards for Pisces? Thank you. Can I have some more? Let's see. There we go. All right. Wow. <laughs> it's saying... You know, and usually I would I would put this card in a different order, but that came out first, and it was like, don't you dare put me at the at the end because they want to show you this. They're already telling you what's in store, and that's success, swift success. And I'll tell you why. January twelfth and January eighteenth, Mars goes direct on the twelfth, and Mercury goes direct on the eighteenth. This is already things moving forward, but you're going to be indecisive. And I don't know why. Maybe that full moon's got you rattled. You know what I mean? And you, you've got to understand that you need to process these emotions if, if that's what it's going to be. And it's got to be a give and a take. So I'm kind of seeing here that, first of all, there's going to be a little bit of struggle. And I, I think because, Pisces, you're so sensitive, your guides wanted to say, listen, don't sweat this. It's already going to be a success. I think the message here, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Focus on the success. Don't be indecisive. Don't be indecisive about where to go. Trust your intuition. You are the most intuitive sign of the zodiac. I say that all the time and I mean it. I know it. And you have to have a balance of give and take. What this also shows is that the universe just wants you to open up your hands. Stop being so indecisive. Instead of scratching your head going, where do I go? Which way do I, what do I do? Open up your hands and open up to that energy. Focus on the success, okay? Well, you never know what you're going to get in these tarot card readings, but I'm telling you, Pisces, they're trying to tell you, listen, focus on the success. Stop being indecisive. Open up to the universe. Look at all those coins falling in that hand. What else does that represent? You know, come on. You're being indecisive and you know it. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. All right. First of all, I'm now I'm jumping forward. This is really weird. This is really weird how this reading's going. But of course it's for a it's for Pisces, so why not? They want you to focus on your relationship and the success of it. Okay, so that full moon is happening in your fifth house. I kind of see how this is going on. Feelings being hurt, 
maybe wanting to spend time together and, and work can't, you know, work doesn't make it possible or something. You're, you're going to be ultra sensitive. Don't be okay. Don't be what you're doing here is that you're focusing on lack and not abundance. And you have to understand that the universe is slipping you one in never the, the picture here. Let me get this picture up here quick. Because it says a lot. It really does. She's bummed out that all her bowls are empty. Look at her. She looks miserable. And she almost looks like she's being a brat, you know? Like, well, my bowls are empty. Now what? But the thing is, is that if she just shifts her perspective, if she just looks to the left, she sees that the universe is slipping her one in. So the moral of the story is, my dear little Pisces, is this. Your bowls are never really f empty. The universe was always slipping you a full one. So stop focusing on lack. You're holding back. You know, I understand that. Maybe, oop, come into focus. There we go. <laughs> You're holding back a little bit, you know. Oh, I don't know where I'm going to, I spent too much money now. On Listen, hold on. All things, things are moving forward. Things are going to be working for you. You are strong enough for some of these things are going to come up because it could be rattling because maybe you're not ready to move forwards yet. You want to be a little cautious. And what they're saying is just focus on the success. Focus on the abundance coming through. Okay. Now the new moon is going to be in Aquarius on the 21st. And this is taking place in your 12th house. Okay. Now. 12th house issues. I have a little bit of trouble with the 12th house because I always look at it as a place where we store all our emotional baggage, where we hide some secrets of ourselves. Um, it also shows, it, it's kind of like the dank fruit cellar. You know, we put, we store all our bad memories and bad experiences and bad thoughts about ourselves in this little earthy, dank smelling kind of fruits, fruit cellar, you know, and it's time to clear it out. So with this new moon, you're going to have an opportunity to get rid of some of this emotional baggage that you have. You see how this is all connecting? So the other coin is, is that you can be, you can start setting the groundwork for administration of some sort. Um, working at a facility or visiting a facility of some sort, anything like that. But this is uh, cleaning out your emotional baggage. If that's one of your resolutions, so be it. You know, It's good to clean out that emotional baggage because some of that will weigh you down. And Pisces, you love the water. You love the freedom of it. But sometimes you can go too deep. And you need to come back up for air. You are an air-breathing creature, you know. So you got to come back up for air. All right. You're strong enough to do this. And you'll do it, you know. And that's the bottom line, kitties. That's the bottom line. Now look. See, there's judgment here. So you may be thinking... Shoulda, woulda, coulda. I don't know. There's something here. What are you second guessing? What are you second guessing? Why second guess yourself? Why? When there's so much positive energy over here saying, go for it, kid. What is it? And you know what? I'm going to tell you something. That new moon on the 21st is very indicative to it. There are some ideas and ways of thinking that are destructive to you and your progress. And you need to let that go. But it seems like instead you're pulling them out of that dank cellar and judging each and every one of them. Just don't even look at them. Don't even look at the label. It's shit. Clear it out. That's mental garbage. That's negative self-talk and it doesn't work because you should be focusing on your ideas and the things that you got going on. You know, this is a big focus of you of getting this finally straightened out. And the sun card comes out to tell you, don't let anyone dim your shine. Is that what you're worried about? Are you worried about other people's opinions on what you're doing or where you want to go? 
and this and the life that you want to live, who's casting judgment on that? Is that you or is it other people? Because those other people got to get out of your life. You need relationships that are meaningful and that are going to strengthen you and not make you indecisive. You know what I mean? So if a partner is doing that, well, they're just, you're going to have to shine so bright they're going to have to wear shades. You know what I mean? Fuck that noise. You don't need that. Shine as brightly as the sun. The sun doesn't ask permission to shine. It just does. It seems like something here has buckled your faith and your trust in yourself. You have great ideas. The worst thing you could do to yourself and to the universe is not allow those to take fruition. That's what we're here to do. We're here to create. And Pisces, it's it's no it's no coincidence that you were born under that sign because Pisces create. Pisces are artists, the poets. You know, I mean so much so much emotional music. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And the psychics, the seers. There is a message coming here that's going to be related to some kind of legal issue that is finally going to take balance. As long as you are planned and prepared for this, you are going to see success. Boom. That kind of Maybe that's what you're worried about and indecisive. Listen, you got to let it go. Stop listening to other people and listen to your heart, Pisces. Your intuition is spot on. Don't let that happen, okay? Now, on the 28th of the month, just when you thought it was over with, the planet of love moves into your sign on the 28th. So this is going to bring a lot of these ideas out into the open. Inspiration. That's what you should be focused on. It's not deciding which way to go, but to opening up to the possibilities of the universe. And then you bring it down into physical form where it becomes something beautiful. And that's what you need to do is focus on that. There's going to be a message about a legal issue. It's going to be working in your favor. Just plan for it. Plan for it. Okay? Because this is going to set the stage for the rest of the year. Fantastic. All right, let's get some cards from these angel guides cards. This, these are cards that are so beautiful. Yeah, this one wants to come out too. Ooh, there we go. Thank you very much, angel spirits and guides, for your messages for Pisces. Let's see. All right. The Queen of Earth. This is a woman who is confident, and it's non-gender, you know, not gender specific. This could also represent your energy, also male Pisces out there. So don't get offended. But this is a person who is capable, is gracious, and who can focus on their success. They, they don't focus on success. They are success. That's what the universe is trying to tell you. I love when the messages hit like that. The nine of earth or the nine of coins can show contentment, living in luxury and being independent. So this shows you opening up to the universe and working hard. So there's a lot of, there's money involved coming with whatever that lawsuit is. I see those coins. Now it's making sense. Six of fire is exactly like we got right here. It's victory, Pisces. Claim it. It's success. It's recognition, and it's also working on your self-esteem. Remember, those new moon is going to be directing you on the 21st to clear out that emotional baggage closet that you know damn well you've been procrastinating about because you can be a little lazy, but there's nothing wrong with that. You're trying to sort shit out, you know? You know, she, you know, Pisces, I'm deep, man. You know, I just think a lot. And then my head, maybe you're too much in your head. It makes you indecisive. You know, I'm just focusing. Kindness counts. Now that means to yourself and others. And I think that's what's going to be on the order for this month too, is be kind to yourself. Appreciate your talents. This is orange. This has to do with the solar plexus. It, you know, appreciate your talents. You're going to be successful at this. 
be very grateful for them and open up because when Venus moves into your sign at the end of the month, holy shit, it's going to be like the well has just blown open. Good for you. And last but not least, and we're leaving you with this, Pisces, feel joy in all you do. What's the use? Why do it? If it doesn't bring you joy, don't do it. If you brings you joy, do it. You know? Claim it. Focus on your dreams. Focus on the success. Not the who, what, where, when, or how. Those are useless. Get rid of them. Okay? Pisces, happy new year. January, you're going to take off. Just open up to it. Okay? Work on your relationships. Get rid of that emotional baggage once and for all. And move forward. Claiming your success. All right? Thank you very much. I hope this resonated. Leave some comments. Let me know if it did for you. And I'll see you in February. Thank you.